Welcome back membership. We're out here behind the maintenance building along the driving range, the east side of the driving range. And uh, great, we've got a couple projects going on here, it looks like. Uh, first, this, is, this has been our existing key and fairway um, grass that we've used to, to pull plugs and pull some sod off uh, when needed and everything. Can you tell us what's going on out here um, with this? And then obviously on the other side, um, We've got a nice big semi hole dug yeah. and everything. Can you share with us what's going on over there? But first, what's happening over here with the, the fairway and uh, and tea, uh, side farm we have? Absolutely. This this was an existing uh, nursery that was here. Uh, we've been we've been taking some sod off this nursery for the last couple years, and it's just kind of time to redo it. So we're gonna actually expand it a little bit. Uh, I've got some mix coming in that we're going to add to and, and actually take a little more of this up here, square it up with our new greens here so over here. Uh, but this will end up being a 4,500 square foot uh, tea fairway uh, nursery, which if we go into and start leveling teas coming up, this could become very useful for us to, to help patch in some things or sod that maybe we don't want to put back on the teas that we, we removed from the teas before we level them. Um, on top here, you see this is a mix uh, that was put in. Yep. Uh, I would I would guess guess just a an 80-20 mix that was put here, or possibly some some plugs off of greens. Yep. Um, but it, it makes a very nice base for a for a fairway tea nursery. Absolutely. Um, it won't uh, retain the moisture, right? It just, oh, exactly. The sand base, it's just it's going to flow through it. Yeah. You know, we we'll, we'll, we can wet it obviously, but we don't want to retain the moisture, right? Yep. Exactly. Well, perfect. And uh, on the other side, yeah, we have o over here. We're building. You know, we looked at that that new sod behind Thirteen Green. Well, this is where it came from, and okay. uh, this is going to be a new two thousand square foot uh, greens nursery. Uh, in the past, unfortunately, we've been taking plugs and and some sod off of our chipping greens up in our short game area. Yeah. Uh, that'll be no longer. Robin Peter and Paul, huh? Be able to leave those, so you won't have that that ugly. Uh, plugging look and, and all that removal going on. Uh, we'll be doing all that from right here. So this will be a nice 2,000 square foot, uh, like I said, greens nursery. We're cupping this out at six inches deep, and then we'll come in with an 80-20 mix. We're gonna put eight inches of 80-20. Okay. So it'll be just a hair above grade, about two inches Perfect. above grade, and then we'll feather dirt into the side, try to make a nice transition around it. Nice. Uh, that'll help with just you know, it won't be the low point. So when the, you know we get the big rains, the rain won't settle there. Yep. Um, this will just be a pad of sand on top of soil. This area dr dries and drains very well, yeah. so I don't anticipate you know a, a big issue with with drainage underneath. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're we're pretty excited to get this done. And, and obviously, you know, seed date up here about eight, August fifteenth. We're pushing right into that. I would like to have this done in the next week, you know, but we've got till basically September one to still be happy, still be comfortable with our seating and full grow in and uh, ready to go for winter. Perfect. So for both of these, um, we see them this, you know, still yet this year in yes. the next couple of weeks. When would this grass knock on wood if we had a normal winter? When would it be available for use? Would it be May, I, June? Yeah, I, I was going to say I'm hoping for Memorial Day to be able to, to be able to come up here and start taking plugs. We'll just see. We'll see. Uh, you know, we'll still have a little bit of, of turf over here uh, that we're gonna we're gonna move around a little bit, maybe relay up on this end uh, that we can still use if we do have some winter winter damage or anything yeah. like that that we need to take care of. But um, yeah, it's this has been in the plannings for for a know. few years, and it's just nice to finally well, I, be able to get it done. I think that's awesome. One common theme that I. I've met and had with all superintendents that I've ever met. None of them have ever said, my sod nursery is way too big. I don't know what to do with it. So exactly. I'm glad this is being able to expand and uh, for emergency use yep. and what we need to do to take care and maintain the golf course at the high standard that you've set. So Absolutely. thank you, Greg, for everything. Thank you. Thank you, membership. We'll see you soon.